below. Well now, color me impressed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today you're in for a treat. As most of you might know, I stream nearly on the daily from my Xbox Series S. And I've searched for that perfect capture card to capture all that goodness of the powerful, small but mighty Xbox Series S. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe I found it. This right here is from a company maybe most may not know of. It's called Avermedia. This is the Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra. Now you can pick this up from Amazon for about 230 bucks. Right now it's on sale from 250, so the price may vary. Uh, make sure to use the link down in the description below to check the latest and greatest prices. But this capture card can truly capture exactly what I want it to do. And this thing, it ain't no joke. It could pump out up to 4K, 60 frames per second, high dynamic range or HDR pass through. It's got a high refresh rate at full HD up to 240 Hertz, 4K 60, 1440p 144. This thing's got ultra low latency and you need that when you're gaming. Enjoy playing uncompressed video straight on their PC monitor with virtually no latency. Or if you're not connected to a PC monitor, you can connect it to a TV via HDMI. Plug and play right out of the box. And they recommend that you utilize the Intel chipset on your PC for best experience. So before we dive into the capture card and some awesome footage, let's check out the box. So as you can probably tell from the box, this is an Amazon warehouse purchase. So the great thing about Amazon warehouse is you can get like new products, you know, products that they send out new, people return them and they work perfectly fine for a discount. So yeah, I didn't pay 230 for this. I paid around 140, 150 for this. So a heck of a deal, man. So behind the Amazon sticker, we got a picture of the device, 4K HDR pass through, live game blink, cause it's behind the sticker. <laughs> Top of the box goes a little more detail. On this side of the box, we got a picture of the device connected and turned on with that subtle blue LED light. This side of the box, it goes into a little bit more specifications about the device and about your connectivity. And then on the back, of course, we got more details, but it also shows you kind of a diagram of how to connect your console to the device, to the computer, or whatever other display device that you're gonna utilize. Now, let's check out the capture card itself. So on the top front of the device is where you're gonna have a, a vent, of course, you wanna keep this capture card cool. And I don't know if they took nodes from the Xbox Series X, or if that's just a design that they decided to go with. But if you look in the vents, it looks red, like there's a light. It's kind of like the Xbox Series X at the top where it's got the green. And if you look at it at certain angles, it looks like there's like a green light illuminating at the top of the Xbox Series X. It's kind of the same thing here, but with red. So it's a nice touch rather than just being all black. You know what I mean? It's got the company name and the capture card name. See, this capture card is very well ventilated on both sides. On this side is where you're gonna have your USB 3.1 cable, USB Type-C on one side, USB-A on the other side. You connect the USB-C side right here, and then you connect the USB-A side to your computer. On the other side is where you're gonna have your HDMI out and your HDMI in. Pretty simple. The HDMI in is for your Xbox Series S, Series X, Xbox, PlayStation, Whatever device you're trying to capture, that's where you're gonna put your HDMI cable in. And then your HDMI out is gonna to go to your PC monitor, it's gonna to go to your TV, whatever video displaying device that you have. Okay, so some of you guys might know that the Xbox Series S can pump out up to 1440p, 120 frames per second. Well, I don't have a TV that can pump out up to 120 frames per second. It can only pump out up to 60 frames per second. So what I've been able to do with this capture card is I've been able to stream my games at 1440p, which is the max for the Xbox Series S at 60 frames per second. And the results are breathtaking. Now, unlike some of the previous capture cards that I've tried, where in the middle of the stream, the connection just, boop, I just lose connection and I got no video. So got to restart the computer, restart the stream. It's just annoying. So the ventilation of this bad boy keeps it nice and cool and performing just as it's supposed to. Now there is one flaw that I kind of have to nitpick about to be consistent with 
my other capture card reviews. And that is, I wish that both HDMI ports and the USB-C port was in the back. Like all three ports in the back. That way it sits nice and flush. The cable's running to the back of the desk and you know, it looks, looks better that way, at least in my setup. But because of the rectangular design and the bigger footprint than the Elgato, um, it does sit little more nicely in my setup than the Elgato did. And unlike the Elgato and the Razer capture card, which I actually sent back the Razer capture card before I could do the review, is the plug and play feature. I did not have to mess with the settings. I plugged it in and it worked. It did as it was supposed to do. The only thing that you have to do is to adjust the audio levels to your liking on OBS in order to stream at a optimal audio level. But other than that, plug and play for reals, y'all. I know you're probably thinking, man, handsome gadgets, would you quit talking and just show us some footage? Well, your wish is my command. Enjoy. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Atlanta Braves. Well, teams have absolutely been teeing off on him the last couple of games. He gave up three bombs last time out, and he's already given up two here in the early going. You want your pitchers to be consistent, but not consistently bad. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Swing and a miss, 0-1. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his Got arms it. very easily. Thank and you. Ozuna will make the catch to retire the side. One left for Pittsburgh. They're down four nothing. I know they say sometimes that these things even out, but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Ronald Acuna stands in as he looks at ball one here. <laughs> they have taken the lead. Ronnie does it again. Yes. A solo shot here to left as they've taken a one run lead. Yes, sir. Sure, you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's oh. check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. 452. Second and eight. Shotgun now for Brady. Looking sideline incomplete. He says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Line of scrimmage again the four-yard line. Second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground with McCoy this time. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Bucs have taken a first quarter lead. And I'm sure for these guys, the break from the conference championship in the Super Bowl seems so long to get out here and score that first touchdown has to take some tension out of the game. Oh, I love the point you just made about the gap between. Think about the pressure that is built in the interim to come out and get the first points in the Super Bowl. Fantastic for the team.
gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? <laughs> Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't wanna die. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> hey, hey, John, blow you too? Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs> Let's clear these and make a run for it! Goodness. Need rescue, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them. It can still handle it. Thanks. <laughs> Pretty nice, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You invested your hard-earned cash in your Xbox Series S or whatever device, and you want to stream it to the world. You want to show off your skills and the power of the system. You need a good capture card to capture all that footage. And this one right here, it does the trick. But of course, if you have any questions, any comments, anything you want to talk about, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll definitely get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you're in the loop for all things handsome gadgets. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up before you leave as it definitely helps out the channel quite a bit. Thank you and have a good one.